one thing that the book of Corinthians teaches us is that God has given us gifts and the gifts are for the edification of the body. So even as I share, um, be encouraged and may this also edify you. So during the week um, when we were praying, we have an intercessory team that meets um, every night, uh, Monday to Thursday. And one of the evenings, um, I think it was Alice, I can't remember who say that she felt God was activating gifts among us or activating um, stuff among us. So this morning I started to pray about that word activate and God gave me a picture. So if you can imagine a picture of a fire that's made out of charcoal. So you know when you have a, um, a charcoal fire and all the coals are together, the fire actually burns slowly but burns well. So in that picture, there were some coals that were away from the fire. So the fire was burning, but there were pieces of coal that were not, if you imagine how um, a coal fire is, that all the pieces have to be together, right, to engage for fire to be fire. But there were pieces that were separated. And I felt the Holy Spirit say, there are some of us here there's resistance. So the pieces of coal that are away, it's like a resistance in the spirit where we are doing our own thing. Like you just sort of separate yourself. And it's not often a physical separation. It's like a spiritual separation where in your heart and mind, there are things that just cause you to be separate to what God is doing. The fire that he's building. So it, it's almost like in my spirit, I felt like an actual resistance that God is saying this is what I'm doing this is where I'm igniting and then there's a resistance in our hearts to follow what he's doing so the words that I felt <clears throat> in my spirit was we need to shift and it needs to be a heart shift that if you're going to be part of the fire that God is igniting if he's going to activate something in you whether it's a gift or a talent whatever it is you have to actually shift. You have to mentally shift and you have to spiritually shift. And then God is going to accelerate. So besides activating what he wants to activate, he's also going to accelerate us as a church. I also had this sense that there are some people who feel like it's towards the end of the year, I can just start to slow down. I'm looking towards Christmas and a break and I I need a break and I'll see you in 2024. And I felt God say, actually, this is not the time to disengage. So that whole thing about the charcoal fire is also an element of disengaging. And God is saying he wants each and every one of us, whether young or old, to engage. So I'm going to ask you, I want you to just search your own heart and pray for yourself before the band starts um, leading us in worship. Ask yourself, is there a resistance in my heart? Is there a place where I'm disengaged? Is there a place where I'm not burning with others the way God wants me to burn with the body of Christ? Because the, the fire that we're talking about is engaging together with the body of Christ and not doing our own thing. And if there's sin in your heart, because only God knows our hearts, that's the that's the privilege we have as believers that nobody else knows your heart except yourself and your maker. Isn't that wonderful that you can just come and confession is just saying sorry. Saying sorry to the God who sees you, the God who sees your heart. I'm going to give us a minute just so that we have privacy and then I'll pray for us. 